How's it going? And welcome to my latest video. Today I'm going to do a little work in my art journal. I have been wanting to do more of a regular practice in my art journal because I love to kind of look at the books when they're done and see everything all together. It's also a great way to see how your style changes, what you like. So this is just a little gesso that I'm putting down on this paper because I find that it, it does buckle sometimes when I use too much liquid. So I want to see if anything changes. I feel like working in an art journal is a great way to just experiment with a lot of things without a lot of pressure. Because sometimes when you paint on a canvas or a bigger piece of paper, you feel like you have to create a finished project. But with an art journal, it's just to have fun and experiment. So I'm just going to give that a second to dry. I've been really loving botanicals lately, so I'm trying to figure out ways to incorporate that more into my work. What I'm using is just a liquid gloss medium. I like to start with a little collage kind of get my creative juices flowing. And I recently got a pack of a bunch of different collage papers. It's a lot of fun to experiment with different papers and just see what appeals to you. So, the Dictionary of Gardening, staying with my theme. I do put a little on top so that it gives the paper a little bit of tooth. And when I paint over it, it doesn't buckle as much. The reason I put down paper is just to kind of take the pressure off of a big white space. It just kind of gets me moving. <clears throat> And then from there, I just kind of figure out what feels right. Try not to plan too much in advance of what I'm going to do, because I feel like there's a lot of magic in the moment that could happen. And if you plan everything out, then you kind of get rid of that magic. that a second to dry. In the meantime, I am going to apply a little, this one seems to be dry. I'm going to apply a little fluid white over it. I've been wanting to experiment with this because I find sometimes using the collage papers, the image just kind of sits on top and maybe just adding a sheer layer could kind of put it to the background just a little bit it won't seem so bright so something like that try a little more There we go. Kind of mutes it out a little bit. So now what I'll do, I'm going to try this out. I got this new ink from Dale or Rowney. It is it's an interesting color. It's I think it's called sepia. It's like a greenish color. Let's see. Hmm. Kind of 
brown. Give it some water, create some drips. It's one of my favorite ways to create a little bit of interest in the beginning. Sometimes they get covered up, but it's kind of fun. I like using a palette knife to kind of scrape some paint on. It's just a different way to apply it. Kind of gives a different texture. It's fun to just play with it. dark. Let's see how that goes. It's a nice little pattern from the paper towel. Not really thinking too much. I'm just grabbing what interests me, seeing how it all works together. Try not to get too particular about my sketchbook because it's a place to experiment, not to worry about a finished product. I just got this new knife. Just trying to figure out how to use it. You can scrape with it, you can make lines. It's kind of neat. One more color. It's 
sometimes when you combine the colors together it can create a different version see like this brown was a little dark for me but I can kind of muddy up this bluish green and bring it down to that same tone Again, I'm just playing. So I'm going to let that dry for a second and then what I'll do is go back in and dab just a little bit. Sometimes it's a little too much. But I do like this green and the yellows and the peach color. So I'm going to let this dry for a second. Just going to dab a little of this up. I do like that but it was a little dark. And then I like this color down here with it being a little lighter. So I'm going to add a little more. It has a nice tone to it with these other colors. very earthy color. Okay. So while that dries, I'm going to experiment with this new little stamp I got. I got a whole package of them. There's like all different scripts and little tire marks it's like a brick wall and some musical I'm actually going to use the acrylic paint I usually use this this stays on jet black it's very easy just to bounce it in there but let's try this one you have to do it kind of quick so that the paint doesn't dry on the stamp, but I can just Okay, it's a little bit There's also the jelly pads that you can put these stamps on. It's a lot easier to use them I'm just being lazy creating the different layers just to show different parts. Hmm, I like that. I like this little stamp. Then I just dump it in the water to clean it off. I think what I'm going to do next is Do a stencil. And 
and make some marks. For stencils, I like to use this like blunt brush. Makes it a lot easier to apply. And I'm going to do a little more white with the yellow. Just see what that looks like. Oh, got a little green in there. I'm not trying to get it too perfect. So it's okay if it kind of smudges a little. I just feel like I need a little bit of an object in this. Okay. Maybe start doing some drawing. Doodles. Or a lot of times I like to just kind of bring out what you can already see, like little pieces. These are the Karen Dash Neo Colors. They're water soluble wax crayons, which are like amazing because you can put it down and then wet it and it kind of turns into a little bit of like watercolor. I love them. Just trying to see if there are any other spots look like an object. This is a Stabilo pencil called Aquarelle. You can get it wet and then it kind of turns into a little watercolor. Just giving it a little edge. even wet the pencil and draw with it that way. That's fun too. Don't want to get it too muddy so I can get a little enthusiastic with the pencil and then I pull it back a little. So there's a lot of muted colors here. I want to add a little bit of a more pronounced focal point. So what I could do is I can add a color anywhere. I love adding patterns. Very similar color to the green. You have to be careful when you use these kind of pencils because if you do get them wet, they will smudge. So the best thing to use is a spray fixative over it and then it won't smudge. But you do that generally when you're done. I 
And in this part, I just try to add little accents to bring the objects out. Just give the eye somewhere to go to, a little more interesting. feels a little bit of a mishmash, which is okay, because it is my art journal. Um, what I'm going to do is just outline this. I always love using these Pasca pens for the best. Feels like something needs to happen right here. So maybe I'll do a little stamp. So you just kind of rub it on and then just don't get that ink on anything because it does not come out. That's why it's called stays on. I'm going to do it this way. There you go. That's pretty interesting. Maybe just do a little more. Gives a little bit more of a focal point. I feel like I want to do a little more right here just to kind of finish it up. your body is easier with the stencils. If you have the fluid paints, they easily seep under the stencil. What I'll do is outline this and see how it looks. This is the thicker line for the Stabilo. They come in all different fine, medium, so you just have to figure out what one you like. I like the medium and I like the fine for really delicate marks. This is fun. Just try not to get it real clogged.
I like to put a little bit of a sentiment that you could see. So I'm going to just do the word free. I printed this on tissue paper. It's really easy. And the tissue paper disappears once you get it adhered down. And again, I'm using the fluid medium. So that is all, friends. Thanks for watching.